Magic108FM.com. This is Earl the Pearl and the Magic Three Questions. And we have a special guest on the line. His name is OC. And he has a record out that's very unique, is very nice. And I'm just going to let him talk about that. Hopefully, you're going to hear him on Magic108FM.com, his record. And OC, welcome. He's original. Well, thank you. I'm happy that you're here, man. And uh, you told me that you grew up in Oklahoma and you went to Kansas and you went out in California and played. I just want to know how you got all that soul. <laughs> well, you know, I came from a family with it, actually, you know. And, and uh, I, I remember a period of time where, you know, the word soul was tossed around. And I, well, I ended up with the uh, OC soul, you know, tag there after a while. But, but yeah, I come in from a family of 10, father, uh, minister. I grew up with a family of 10, and, and, and uh, my father sang, uh, oldest brother sang. As a matter of fact, he was the one that started me out playing the guitar, and then immediately I moved over to let my, my younger brother uh, do that, and I started playing the bass. And, and I first gig in a club, uh, we were still teenagers, uh, but they allowed us to come in at certain times, and we'll do a couple of little things here and there, and, you know, one or two songs, and man, you couldn't tell us much of nothing. And, uh, you know, of course, being in, in California, you know, West Coast here, um, a lot of great people, lots of good experiences. I was in and out with uh, some different groups, and then I was solo for a while. My thing was, uh, I always had a penchant for writing. And, uh, of course, I would write songs, and I would never record anything for a long time. And uh, then I started doing some recording here and there. And uh, a group that we had called ESP, we started getting a little traction around uh, uh, Cali. And uh, I, I don't know really what happened, but it just kind of felt like, okay, some of the guys weren't ready to take that next step. And I was trying to figure out exactly where it was. So again, I ended up solo. And after a while, you know, I was going to school in between, going to, because I went to, uh, in my junior year, I actually came down and went to Jackson State there and then turned around and went back to Cali there in Cal State. And uh, the whole time I was still somewhat involved in the music. You know, every once in a while, life can grab you and take you in a slightly different direction. But if music is in your heart, you're going to always find your way back. So uh, at one point, I ended up moving uh, to Atlanta. Okay. Great place, great choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I was just going to say, uh, Atlanta is a great place to, to meet people in the music business and work in the music business. And it's one of the reasons why Magic108FM.com is here because of the music business. And it's, it's interesting that, that, that you would say that. I love that single that, that I was just introduced to. And we have listeners in Atlanta. We have listeners in St. Louis, Missouri. We have uh, uh, listeners in Florida and in, in California, primarily. And this this is very interesting, this song you, you, you have uh, produced. You can ride it. And we're going to play it in the background. We're going to play it afterwards and also doing it in the background so people can really get a taste of that song. I think that's a uniquely written song. Can you tell me what the inspiration of that song was? <laughs> well, actually, that inspiration really came from uh, a, a real-life childhood experience. And there, there was uh, this little girl who came over, and I had my little old toy, you know, and I was trying to put it together. It was a raggedy, little old raggedy truck, a little old raggedy bison, but she would always show up. <laughs> she wanted to play with something, you know. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> You know, the adult uh, connotation of that is powerful, you know. The, I mean, the adult, I mean, we're adults. So the adult right, connotation right, right. kind of overrides the song. But actually, it's very, if you really listen to it like a child would listen to it, it's, it's, uh -huh. it's very innocent. <laughs> yeah, that, that, it, it, it is, you know. And, and, and if you watch the video of the song, it really kind of carries that story. It starts with that story. 
and uh, it kind of worked its way through to present time. But uh, that's that's really what what it's, it's talking about. But really, you can take it any way that you want, mm-hmm. and it works. The music director heard a little oh, bit of it. You. My <laughs> wife heard it. He's so uh, nasty. Uh, <laughs> I said, baby, how are you listening to that song? It's written with a child connotation to it. Right, and he said, but we're, right. she said, but we're adults, baby. I know it's all in how you think. And I said, now, baby, you need to stop thinking that way and it won't come across that way. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the way you wrote it, and I can tell that. I really could. <laughs> well, and, and, but you know, too, I knew that it could go the other way, too. And after mm-hmm. I wrote it, and I had put you know, uh, some of the chords together, you know, stuff, mm-hmm. and I was mm-hmm. thinking to myself, now I got to go and try to sing this to my wife and explain to her what we're doing here, you know. Uh, That's right. But uh, she, had the, she had the same immediate reaction, though. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she, she got beyond that, yeah. And I, yeah, yeah, you get beyond that. We do, we do understand. That. I thought it was uniquely written and, and, and a great, great idea. So tell me, oh, see, what are you, what are your uh, influences, your early influences in music? Oh man, it was uh, so many, so many great people. And like I said, I can go way back to the to the Pixies and Bobby Bland, and uh, you know, uh, and some of the some of the Bobby Womacks and. Of the world, um, and, and moving on up, you know, Smokey Robinson, Temptation, of course. So I had so many different influences. And you know, you go through that process, and you try to figure out well, who you're going to be, who you're going to sound like, this and that, and you know, whoever. And uh, actually, I, I discovered sometime down the road. Well, I think the best thing is just for me to try to be me. But then the challenge became, well, okay, what is that? Right. You know, so mm-hmm. it, it, it took a while, you know, it evolved and trying to get there. And I think a lot of people go through that process, particularly if you start out and you're sounding so much like somebody else. It's like, yeah, that's good. That's good. I sound just like, you know, just like, you know, uh, Wilson Dickett. I sound like David Ruffin, you know, or something, you know. Uh, but then you, you find out, yeah, the, the, the best thing that you can be is to be you whether it's your music or just your everyday life. And, and that's what I got comfortable with. So what you hear is absolutely what, what is all OC or OC song. Yeah. You know, and I could tell that because I couldn't think of anybody else that I heard that sounded like you. And I think that's a good thing. Um, so many of our artists are trying to sound like some of, so many of our great ones, you know. And what they have to remember is that the great ones didn't try to sound like anybody else. Right, that's right. They were just genuine. You know, it was what they had. It was real. It was, it was just who they were, coming from the spirit. You know, and hey, and folks loved it. You know, but when you, I think when you try to do something else, people people pick up on that. And, you know, it's not always the, the best thing. You know, some people say, oh, well, he sounds like Sansa, but he's not him. Yes. So, yeah. So I noticed you've got uh, um, some songs you've written, like A Girl Like You and Saturday Night, Getting My Drink On. Yeah. And, and you can, of course, you can write it, which I love. The Getting yeah. My Drink On. Talk to us about that one. Okay, get it, getting my drink on is really, really a party song. It's about, hey, getting ready to get out. You're going out to wherever you're going out to, you know. And, uh, you know, you, you really got your, your, your lady with you. And you're letting her know, hey, look, we're getting ready to get out here. We're going to do this thing. And we're going to do it from sun up to sundown. So I'm just letting you know in advance. It's been a long time since we got out here. But, hey, we're going to make it do what we're doing. In the process, we're going to get our drink on. And that's what I talk about. You know, I, 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 I've got my, my, my blues on, you know, and I've got my shoes on. I've got all these things on. Now I'm getting ready to get my drink on. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a hidden song. I, I like it. I really do. Ladies and gentlemen, just in case you just tuned in, we're talking to Mr. O.C. Soul, and he has the Soul Patrol band. And, of course, 
if you'd like to see more of OC Soul, we would like for you to give us a call at 404-919-9634. We'll always have that information for you. But you can go to OCSoulBand.com. That is O-C-S-O-U-L-B-A-N-D.com to check out OC Soul. And if you'd like to book him, like I'm thinking you're going to want to do, so he can sing you can ride it you need to give him a call at 770-634-3572 and he does have a 1-800 number don't you OC yes sir it's 800-771-8710 and uh, also uh, folks can go on YouTube if you go on YouTube to just put in OC Soul Band you pull up a number of videos and stuff from some of our live performances and some of our official videos and stuff like that awesome man it's been a joy talking to you and uh, we're looking Same forward here, to see, seeing you live man it's going to be fun seeing you can ride it you singing it and then your wife right there in the audience I just want to see that <laughs> hey, and, and on, on the 24th of this month Okay. We're going to be at Jimmy's in the loop. We're going to be doing a, a release for this song. Oh, <laughs> man, we've got to get that in. We've got to get that in. Okay, yeah. to give us the yeah. address on that, OC. Yes, you're going to be on the, the 24th of this month. Uh, the address is at 6365 Peachtree Industrial. Okay. Peachtree Industrial Boulevard, 6365 Peachtree Industrial Boulevard. That's in the city of Dorfield. And it's at Jimmy's, Jimmy's Carnegie. Okay, and that, uh, for those people using GPS, what's that zip code? You got it? Zip code is 30360. Yeah. 30360. Okay. And, 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 and the doors open at the what doors time? open at 8 o'clock. And and we're gonna be hearing you sing with the with the Soul Patrol band about what time? With, with, with the full band, we will come on about 9:30. That is so awesome. Yeah. We can't yeah. wait, ladies Appreciate and gentlemen. That. Yeah, well, you wanna you wanna get your tickets at Jimmy's, and of course they can contact you for tickets too, right? Oh, absolutely. Well, mm-hmm. well, for this event, for the folks who get there early, don't even worry about it. Just come on in and say just say the magic word, OC Soul. OC Soul, get, get you through the door. Get you through the door. Yes. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Soul Patrol band featuring OC Soul. We're real excited, and it's going to be on what date, OC? That's October the 24th. That's next Thursday. Next Thursday. October the 24th. The 24th. Yes. And you'll start playing at about 9.30. Doors open about at 8. 9.30. Yes. At Jimmy's. And we will be in the house. That's right. Full force, full crew. And, and come on down because there'll be a dance contest uh, for the You Can Ride It song. We have a little thing that we do. So the person who performs the song, or, or should I say, go, go through the, the motions of interpretation of the song, will actually receive a prize. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we have lots of fun. Lots of fun doing it. Oh, man, it should be nice then. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for OC Soul and the Soul Patrol Band. Glad you stopped through, OC. All right, thank you, sir. Earl sure. Z. Pearl, magic108fm.com. I'm OC Soul. And when I was a kid, I had a toy. And I loved my toy very much. I took my toy with me everywhere I went. I didn't let nobody mess with my toy. And then a little girl moved into the neighborhood and she asked me if she could play with my toy. I told her, oh no, you can't play with my toy. But then she was a real cutie, so I said, okay. But I told her, now, if I let you play with my toy, you're going to have to follow my exact instructions. Now, this is what you're going to have to do. Well, you can ride it, but don't break.
break it. Don't break well, you can touch it, but don't hurt it. Don't hurt now you can push it, but don't pull it. And when you finish with it, bring it back to me. You can ride it, but don't break it. Well, you can touch it, but don't hurt it. Don't hurt well, you can push it, but don't pull it. And when you finish, baby, bring it back to me. Now, wait a minute, girl. You're doing everything I told you not to do. I mean, you riding it and breaking it and touching it and hurting it. You pulling and pushing and all of that stuff going on. Now I told you, if you're gonna play with my toy, you're gonna have to do it exactly like I'm telling you. You're gonna have to follow my instructions, girl. You have to do it like this. Well, you can ride it, but don't break it. Well, you can touch it, but don't hurt it. Well, you can push it, but don't pull it. And when you finish with it, bring it back to me when you can ride it. But don't break it Well, you can touch it But don't hurt it Well, you can push it But don't pull it And when you finish with it Bring it back to me Oh, I've been having my toy for a long time And my toy has always been on my mind And if I'm gonna give it to you I tell you, girl, this what you got to do when you can ride it, but don't break it. You can touch it, but don't hurt it. Well, you can push it, but don't pull it. And when you finish with it, bring it back to me. Well, you can ride it, but don't break it. Well, you can touch it. But don't hurt it. Don't hurt well, you can push it, but don't pull it. And when you finish with it, bring it back to me. Now, girl, I think you're starting to get the hang of this thing. You're starting to do it just the way I like. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna be all right here, girl. If you keep Doing it like this, I'm gonna let you play with my toy again. Well, you can ride it, but don't break it. Well, you can touch it, but don't hurt it. Now you can push it, but don't pull it. And when you finish with it, bring it back to me. Well, you can ride it, but don't break it. Well, you can touch it. But don't hurt it. Don't hurt it. Well, you can push it. 